let's talk about some of the various tools that we're going to use in laying out our routes. If we look at the very top of the base camp window, you'll see these map tools and creation tools. First, let's talk about the map tools. You'll notice right now the little hand is selected. That's called a grabber tool, or that's what I call it. And basically, it turns your mouse icon into a little grabber that if you click and drag, you can move the map around within the window to the desired location. When the map is zoomed out like it is here, it doesn't really have much meaning, but it will have in a moment. Now, next to the grabber tool, you have the little spyglass or magnification tool. Now, this allows you to draw a selection on the screen and have Basecamp zoom in on that location. So I'm going to click and drag a little square over the Dallas-Fort Worth area, as shown here. And when I release, that instructs Basecamp to zoom in on that area. Now I can see more detail for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Instead of clicking and dragging using the magnification tool, I can also just simply click on an area and it will zoom in incrementally to that area. So let's say I want to zoom in on Carrollton, Texas. I'm going to click right there and it's going to center Carrollton, Texas onto the screen and zoom in one step. I can continue to click on Carrollton and it will continue to zoom in incrementally on that area. And when you click an area on the map, it always centers that area into the center of the map. Now I'm going to continue to click in an area that I know I want to go to because I'm trying to find my home location, which is where Cruise Man's Garage offices are. So I click and I continue to click and as you can see, each time it zooms in closer. Now there's a secondary way you can zoom in addition to the magnification tool here. You also have a little tool panel down at the bottom and you'll see a zoom slider. Now if I select this slider and drag it to the right, it will continue to zoom in wherever the center of the screen is already located. Now, I can see now enough detail to see Coyote Ridge Golf Club, and that's where my home is located. So I want to continue to zoom in a little bit further, but I really want to move this over to be centered on the screen. Now I can click on it with the magnification tool, and it will center that and zoom in a little further. But there's another way I can move this around, and that is by using the little grabber tool here. If I click on that little hand icon, I can now click and drag and I can move the map anywhere I want within the visible area of the screen. And that's how you use the grabber tool. Now I want to continue to zoom in a little closer. So I'm going to click my magnification tool and I'm going to continue to zoom in on this area. Of course I could click and drag. Now I can see some streets that go into the Coyote Ridge Golf Club. And I can actually see some street names. So now I could click my grabber tool if I want to scoot this map a little bit so I can see what I want to look at. And one little shortcut you can use is to hold down the space bar. When you hold down the space bar, it gives you the grabber tool if you have the zoom or magnification tool selected. So I'm using the holding down the space bar and I'm just dragging this map down to where I want it to be. And now I can basically see my neighborhood. So this is how you can use the zoom and the grabber tool. Now there's another way you can move around the screen and that's by using these little arrows on this bottom panel. I can move to the right, move to the left. If I click move to the left, it scoots everything to the left. If I move to the right, it scoots everything to the right. So you have two ways of zooming, either with the magnification tool or with this little zoom slider. And you can also move around the map using the grabber tool or these little arrow keys. Now if you like this video, please take a second to click on the subscribe button down below. 
Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos.